Okay, so it's back on that uh, gray box with the handle on top. This is what it's doing. It, it has Fedora, some older version of Fedora on it. That's what's on the screen right now. Oh, it quit doing it. This bottom hard drive was making a noise like it was. Yeah, it says error, error, error. Media error. Seems like I remember that I got, uh, wasn't paying enough attention and I put like AMD version on there instead of the Intel or the other way around of Fedora. I did it a long time ago. Well, now it's beginning. It quit making noise. I can tell by feeling of them that the bottom one's the one making the noise. And there in the boot, it see it shows 40 gigabyte hard drive, but it didn't show the other one that I could see. It went by kind of fast. You know, I'm going to let it run. Well, I'll go out there and clean out one. I've got another machine to blow out. It's a Pentium 3. I could see that on the front of it, but I didn't know what this one was. It's a, it might have been a, a, you know, a custom build. It's one of those cases that's a lot like, you know, what you'd buy to build your own PC. I was going to look and see. I think it may have a nice brand of motherboard on it. VD1, VD133. Cannot see the brand. It's kind of hard to m match those. <laughs> kind of hard to match that. <coughs> my light started working on my magnifying glass out here in the garage. It quit working for about a year or more. <coughs> I just, just left it sitting out here and it started working again. It's all a cap that looked like it might have been swollen but it's okay I think <coughs> anyway I still don't see the brand I'll look at it later <sighs> feeling around too long oh it's getting down to booting the operating system now yeah I can always fill around long enough to figure something out or <laughs> break it or do something with it welcome to Fedora press I to enter interactive startup starting UDEV I don't, never did see, I was wondering if maybe it was checking the hard drive, you know, running F, uh, F disk, F disk, yeah, I think that's called. Uh, it might have been what it was doing, and that's why it was making noise. It's not making a noise anymore, so. Let's go and leave it there, and come back later. If, if it does anything interesting, I'll come back, show it. It used to boot up. I noticed that, uh, it looked like when XP, I tried to boot it up, and it, uh, it blue screened. And then rebooted instantly. No surprise there. But uh, anyway, you need to quit fooling around.